welcome to the next uh, lecture of solar energy. Now you see that uh, we are discussing about the various type of heat transfer uh, media or heat transfer fluid. Now under the heat transfer media or fluid, uh, you can see the wide application in the solar panel. Now when we go for this uh, solar panel anatomy, uh, we need to go a small amount of uh, knowledgeable approach uh, with respect to the solar energy. So in this particular uh, lecture, we are going to discuss uh, uh, some of the small concepts of uh, solar energy. Uh, there are two uh, major uh, topics which we are going to cover. One is uh, the introduction to solar energy and then uh, the different type of uh, parabolic uh, collectors or PTC and the linear Fresnel uh, reflectors uh, LFR. Now see that India is uh, a relatively hot country and we are having very good uh, opportunities attributed to the solar energy. And usually in Indian context, we do have 200 to 250 days of a bright sunshine um, with normal, you can say the direct normal irradiance uh, of about say 4 to 7 kilowatt hour per meter square per day. That means a huge opportunity, huge avenues with respect to the solar energy. Now, uh, solar thermal energy is usually created when uh, the incident solar radiation is caught and transported as heat to perform different beneficial uses. Now, with the depleting resources of crude, sometimes it is a very challenging aspect and that is why uh, various government organizations, they are giving more and more importance or impetus towards the use of some alternative energy sources and solar energy is one of the best candidate. So, uh, while we consider the, the things that uh, the crude or natural resources are depleting, it becomes essential to think about various alternative renewable or direct sources of energy or above all low cost energy. Uh, technology is uh, avails to obtain thermal energy from sun as a free source of heat, getting up to 3000 degree Celsius temperature output and uh, solar energy is available in abundance. Now, see when we see the, the, a lot of opportunities, avenues, quantum, etc. So, the obtained energy, it can be utilized in various applications including water and air heating, preheating, cooking, distillation, food processing, etc. Uh, furthermore, a new concept of green building, this is coming up. And uh, for past decades, uh, past couple of decades, uh, uh, various regulatory bodies, they are introducing this kind of uh, concept. Basic objective of this particular concept is uh, of having the self energy sustainable buildings. So the solar structural design is the dominant source of complying the energy demand in such type of buildings. Uh, the National Institute of uh, Solar Energy, they have an estimate of country's solar potential to be 748 gigawatt. Assuming that solar photovoltaic module, they cover 3% of the waste land area. So, you can analyze and you can imagine that how much potential we do have with respect to the solar energy. Now, the solar energy, this has been prioritized in Indian, India's national action plan on climate change with the national solar mission being one of the primary mission. So, keeping in view of this particular fact, a lot of avenues, low cost, uh, availability, etc. January 11, 2010, the national solar mission was started. Uh, the National Sustainable Development Mission is a significant project of Government of India with strong participation from states to promote ecologically sustainable growth while addressing India's energy security issues. 
sometimes it would be also represent as a, a significant contribution by India to the global effort to address the concerns of climate change. The mission's uh, goal is to position India as a global leader because of the avenue, because of the opportunities in solar energy by fast establishing regulatory condition for solar technology dissemination across the country. Now, here you see some of the statistical information. Now, as on uh, March uh, 31st, 2021, the Karnataka, these are the top uh, solar electricity gen, uh, generators, Karnataka 7,355 megawatt, the Rajasthan 5,732 megawatt, Gujarat 4,430 megawatt. Now this uh, in the figure you can see the reason why is solar plant installed capacity and uh, the reference is uh, the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. Now, when we talk about uh, the potential of uh, solar power generation, then the question arises that how we can classify all these uh, solar power generation technology. So, the solar associated power generation technology, these can be broadly divided into two categories. One is the solar photovoltaic power, that is PV, then concentrated solar power, that is CSP. So, solar photovoltaic work uh, on photoelectric effect to directly convert the solar energy into electrical energy. On the other hand, the concentrated solar power uh, system, it works on the principle of light heat electricity conversion. Uh, the absorbed heat, whatever is absorbed through the sun, is first utilized to produce steam using a solar collector. The produced steam drive the turbine to generate the electricity. Now, the solar photovoltaic is well studied field, but it contains some of the technical issues which are unresolved. The photovoltaic panels used in such system pose environmental concern associated to their manufacturing and recycling steps. Second, it does not generate power reliably as it is directly related to the intensity of um, upcoming sun rays and angle of incidence. Now, both changes throughout the day leading instability in the grid. Like if you see in the morning, the intensity of the solar radiation may be on the lower side, then it may be peak during the, the mid middle of the day and during the evening, it gr gradually goes down. And similarly, the direction, because sun usually moves in different direction. So, it creates a, a lot of instability. Now, the serious wastage of light is observed in various systems. One way is to resolve such issue is the use of storage devices for a smoother operation. But when we are using the, uh, the storage devices, that means uh, we are having uh, the storage batteries, this reasonably increases the cost of production. Therefore, the use of batteries are not widely accepted in market nowadays. Now, concentrated solar power can overcome these limitations providing the stable electricity generation system with minimal harm to the environment. The use of uh, costlier battery is also not required due to its unique heat storage assembly and auxiliary electricity generation parts. It integrates the energy storage and electricity generation within the system. Uh, moreover, it, it, the adjustment pattern ensures smoother operation and longer grid life, thereby improving the reliability to these systems. Now, these uh, CSP in near future, this can help to improve the power generation through free and green sun energy helping the, to reduce the carbon footprint. 
At present, the adoption of uh, this uh, CSP seems challenging, mostly because of uh, the higher cost compared to the other resources. Uh, one of the resources is solar photovoltaic system. Um, let us discuss about the different type of uh, CSPs. One is uh, the parabolic row collectors, PTC, then linear final reflectors, LFR, then central solar tower and solar dish. So, first is the parabolic row collectors uh, technology, PTC. The PTC essentially concentrates sunlight at the receiver as a linear focus to obtain the temperature up to 400 degree Celsius. It concentrates direct solar energy and must be tracked alongside the sun. So, the movement uh, alongside the sun uh, needs to be tracked. This can be done through either one axis tracking east to west or using two axis tracking, one for east to west and other for from north to south. The angle of incidence in two axis uh, tracking is lower than one axis, enabling higher solar, solar energy concentration. Now, here you see this uh, parabolic row. This is, these are the parabolic reflectors and uh, sun rays they are driving and then they are again contracted. So, these are the reflectors, these are the absorber tubes and these are the solar field piping. Now, here you see the anatomy of uh, these parabolic shape reflective trow. This is a central heat pipe. You see the reflective coat, coating mirrors and this is the rotational axis. You see that which we are discussing about the east to west and north to, north to south and uh, these are the supports. Now, um, this uh, on contrary, the installation of two axis tracking system is comparatively higher than one axis, limiting its uh, selection at mass use. Now, depending upon uh, the geographical orientation, the position of uh, the PTC usually can be fixed. Now, however, studies they report the maximum annual incidence incident energy collection when it is positioned in north to south direction. It is essential to maximize the solar radiation collection to improve the collection efficiency and reduction in supplementary energy demand. The receiver contains a series of evacuated tubes containing some high temperature heat transfer fluid. Uh, this can be a molten salt or a thermal oil or synthetic oil. It can be used depending upon the use and how much heat transfer capacity you require. These are uh, the filled with the thermal oil, um, which was found to be the most advanced technology and being most economical and smoother working at high temperature. Now, these tubes are heated to about 400 degrees Celsius using the concentrates solar radiation which then flows through a heat exchanger assembly containing water on the other side. So, heat transfer can take place. The high pressure superheated steam is thus produced um, using this particular approach. Now, whatever steam you produced is then passed through our conventional steam turbine power generator to produce the electricity. So, it clubbed with the power generation unit. So, first the concentration of uh, uh, solar irradiation, then heating of uh, the thermic fluid and then passing on the, the, the absorbed energy or heat to the water to generate the steam and the steam then util, uh, is used as the power generation plant to, uh, to the power to generate the power or to generate the electricity. So, the, whatever steam is used in course of time, it can be cooled to the condenser to improve the pumping efficiency on the compression cycle. Now, the compressed water is then again recirculated through the series of heat exchanger and the cycle continues and a stable electrical output can be obtained through this process. 
Now the advantages of uh, this uh, PTC system is they are associated to its lower operational cost. You can easily scale up, integrate, it is very handy to operate and wider acceptability in uh, local perspective. Several innovations are um, still going on pertaining to the domestic use of uh, PTC in cooking and heating application because the sizable quantum of uh, energy is being consumed in these two operations or uh, domestic operations. Uh, there are some commercial uses of uh, the PTC technology. This includes the, the 50 megawatt PTC based solar thermal power plant commissioned in Rajasthan. A grid connected solar thermal power plant which was commissioned at Gurgaon, New Delhi. Usually it generates a high pressure steam at 350 degrees Celsius and 42 bar and it can generate electricity up to 220 megawatt with a capacity of 1 megawatt electric at direct normal irradiation of 600 watt per meter square. Now let us discuss about the linear final reflectors technology LFR. The term Fresnel in the LFR technology comes from the name of Fresnel lens uh, which consists of multiple reflecting plane which helps to enhance the concentration of light coming from different direction in different angles. Later on this technology was modified to obtain a linear and a two axis tracking of Fresnel system which helps the steam generation system. Now this LFR works um, as mixed power tower and PTC system containing a fixed receiver pipe whereas mirror tracks uh, using the control devices. Now here you see that these are the, the LFR technology. We are having the reflectors, these are the reflectors. And there are secondary reflectors which comprises of absorber tubes. So when light passes on this, these first hand reflectors, it goes to these secondary reflectors and whatever the thermic fluids are there, it can get absorbed the, the solar energy. So this true, surf, the true surface is transformed into multi mirror facet. The multi uh, or the mirror control system, this tracks the sun rays throughout the day and move according to the reflect uh, accordingly to reflect the incident light over the absorber plate. Now the control system determines the exact mirror position uh, for each mirror based on the exact location, date and time and sensors usually double check the position and can induce the, the recalibration. So uh, whatever mirrors uh, those are being used in this uh, LFR technology, they are in a different angle as the relative position that is a sun mirror or absorber tube is different. These mirrors can be flat or slightly curved reflecting the light rays towards the linear collector containing stainless steel absorber tubes. The collector can be fixed absorber tube placed at a common focal line of the reflecting mirror. The reflectors this can have a single or a dual axis tracker allowing maximum collection of solar radiation in a day. Uh, secondary concentrator is also used to place uh, the rays according to the accepting angle. The radiation missing the absorber tube hits the secondary reflector which again concentrates the radiation on the absorber tube. And usually the receiver is surrounded by secondary compound parabolic collector. CPC sometimes referred as CPC reflector which uh, directs the concentrated reflected beam to the absorber tube. Now the LFR technology uh, whole system consists of uh, um, CPC reflector and receiver with two stainless steel tubes they are walled in a glass casing you can see here 
tube and this is the glass casing. This unit can be evacuated as the vacuum reduces the heat loss from the absorber pipe. So, these are the absorber pipes and uh, if you put vacuum then definitely the heat loss can be minimized. Now, the absorber tube uh, they are having the recirculating heat transfer fluid which is heated to produce superheated steam which then finally used to produce electricity through steam turbine generators. Now, the fluid transports the heat to a process where it transfer the heat via heat exchangers and uh, later uh, it is recirculated through the absorber tube. The modified uh, uh, LFR system allows water to act as a transfer fluid or heat transfer media. This producing steam um, as high as 285 degrees Celsius inside the absorber tube and uh, uh, by this way you can reduce the cost of additional heat exchanger assembly. And uh, this uh, produced steam this can be directly used to move turbine and generate electricity. So, you may eliminate the requirement of additional heat exchanger. There are certain um, specific uses and apart from this uh, limitation of uh, LFR. Now, this uh, LFR is a low temperature rising system with less efficiency and reduced performance as compared to other CSP systems. Simplified design and standalone operation makes it a more good candidate because uh, it is a cheaper alternative and allows its use in a small scale and remote areas. Uh, the use of flat mirrors and fixed CPC units this make it more economical in the installation perspective. So, it is economically feasible in this respect. It also provides the enhanced land consumption than linear to and a power tower system and it can be combined with the working of a fossil fuel production system for energy generation throughout the day. There is neither uh, a vacuum nor metal glass sealing requirement in LFR and also due to the reduced wind load on the reflector plate its width can be increased to about three times as compared to the parabolic trough. However, we are having other technologies. So, when compared with the PTC technology, the power per unit land area in LFR is smaller. Therefore, uh, it opens a new avenue because it offers more avenue for the research and more research is needed in this particular field to utilize more area such as uh, the reason when it the collector. Industry is a significant energy user especially the chemical engineering industry accounting for over 30 percent of total final energy consumption. Uh, process heat accounts for approximately 67 percent of overall industrial energy consumption. Uh, sometimes a significant portion approximately you can say the 57 percent of the total process heat demand is in the medium temperature range that is around 400 degrees Celsius and may be met using this uh, LFR technology. In um, industrial processes, process heating is uh, usually a major consumer of uh, heat energy. Usually are typically provided using heat exchangers from a distribution grid allowing uncontacted heat transfer with sustained purity. Steam is the uh, most common heat transport fluid used in this particular industry. The industrially adopted LFR corrector many directly created uh, create saturated or superheated steam and thereby it can be used in the steam power generation plant. Thermal oil or pressurized water can also be utilized as a heat transfer fluid and both are well suited for integration into 
solar process uh, heat solution. So, solar cooling solution they are also available to compensate the cooling requirement. Similarly, when we talk about the direct normal irradiation which is greater than 1500 kilowatt hour per meter square are the best suitable for solar process heat application using the industrial solar panel collector technology. So, at the outset uh, we had uh, discussed about the, the uh, solar energy different type of uh, solar system, solar energy production system being used. Uh, for the convenience, we have enlisted uh, four references. If uh, further reading is needed, then uh, you can have a look of these references. Thank you very much.